it's 440 and I'm done with being sad as hell. So this Christmas is a bit unique for me. I started doing some self-reflecting and instead of wallowing in that whole emotion, I decided to think about some great memories that I have uh, from Christmas, which I can definitely, definitely remember. So as I reflect, why don't you guys join me? Wow. <laughs> Growing up, Christmas was really a big deal. It's just my brother and I, so my parents worked really, really hard to make sure that we had really big, extravagant Christmases. And um, the most memorable ones are the ones where we did more uh, outdoors activities instead of the whole gift opening and all that good stuff. While all that was fun, some of my most epic memories were, uh, there was one time my father actually decided that when we woke up, which typically is around this time, about 4.45 a.m., he wanted us in December <laughs> to go to the beach and just have a beach day. And I remember it being my brother, my mom, and myself, um, and my dad, and getting in our little floor and driving down to Doc Waller Beach, seeing some bonfires lit, remember getting toys, and <laughs> one of the, the, the most epic toys that I received was a, a Viacom machine, which was like a Casio typewriter. Um, and now that I think about it, it really was funny to receive it back then because I had no idea that my niche for writing was what it was. And I remember when I got it, um, how excited I was and how like through the roof I was. Um, and it was something that wasn't like a hot commodity kids weren't asking for it. I just wanted it. Um, they made made those, but it was like this Casio secret diet. It was so cute. Um, oh, I remember my brother receiving a 4x4 four four truck, like Power Wheels, and I was super jealous, all the time fighting for it. Um, and then my parents bought me a red Porsche. Me and my brother were always rolling. I never could drive. Don't judge me, judge yourself. Another memory that I can remember is when all of my cousins actually came in town um, from Nebraska for the same time. And it was such a different experience because we never, I never had that, you know, never had the whole big, big family. And when they came into town and stayed with us, I was my aunt having us all go and buy presents for each other and it was so cute because we were all in the same store right and we're like going up the aisles trying to find gifts and then my mom and my aunt were taking the boys to go buy the girls stuff on one register it was just so so cool we had like a dance off or something at night and my dad acted a plum fool trying to keep up with us and it was just the cutest thing ever. The cutest thing ever. Um, there was also a time that I really was into video games. And I was into like weird video games though, like Jeopardy and, and Wheel of Fortune. So we had every system you could imagine. I mean, my brother is a, is a gamer, so he always got those things. But when I started getting so it was really cool because um, I never was. The pool and my mom and dad would play. It was just it was epic. You know, Christmas obviously is about the birth of Jesus and us, you know, celebrating that. And I try my best to constantly keep that in the forefront of all of this. And during times like this, for anybody who's experienced you know, loss of a loved one or a loss of love in, in general. Um, it's important that we, during 
the holiday season, we reflect and we think about the amazing times that we have with family and friends because those are going to be the things that we know we need. And, you know, God willing, if I ever do have a child, I definitely want to embed tradition because tradition was such a big deal for us. I remember, you know, every household has their own tradition, but for us, it was definitely um, trying to trying to figure out how Santa got the gift in because we lived in an apartment um, and we could never understand that. And I grew up believing in Santa for a very long time. I think I was in my teens when I was told from Santa. I just asked my mom that question the other day, and she told me. Yeah, some some girl at school told you, and you came back and asked me, and I didn't want to lie to you anymore, so I told you the truth, but you were old enough, but it's important to keep that spirit there, and, and keep kids believing in Santa, but remembering traditions, as I was saying, and keeping them reminded of what this celebration is, and what it means. I'm very excited that this Christmas is on a Sunday. How, how cool is that? Um, while I know it's been on a Sunday before, as an adult, this is the first time that I've actually thought about the connection and it's been able to experience the connection. So, um, yeah, I mean, all this is cool. I'm just excited to be with my family. Um, the memories that I have with my family, the love that I have for them, the excitement that I get now, you know, trying to find different things for my nieces and trying my best to figure out what gifts I can get my parents to do. Oh, Lord, shop for. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's great. And, um, you know, I'm going to do my best to keep making my own traditions, whether well, this video to talk about single dumb or what that feels like during this time, I just really want to reflect on what it means to keep memories in your heart and how impactful they can be. So, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and always remember to be loved.